And let the world know, uh, and the viewers know, where you can be found on social media and also everywhere, anything, any platform. Yeah, y'all can follow me on SoundCloud, Instagram, and Snapchat at Burr SSO. That's B U R R S S O. Uh, my first question to start the interview is, how this all, how did it all start, man? Like, from your name, like, you know what I'm saying? Where, where did it all come from, man? Like, and really actually writing rhymes and listening to instrumentals and all that shit like freshman year of high school. And shit, that shit just kept going into all, all through high school and shit, niggas just got out. And shit, was, there was nothing else to do but take that shit serious. Now, how did you go about the name part? You know what I'm saying? Did that come then or did it come like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. later down the line, like far down the line or something like that? Yeah, I do a lot of you. My first, my first rap name, like in middle school when I was rapping, you feel me? You know, everybody, the Wayne was that nigga, you know, back then. Uh -huh. So you feel me? Everybody was Weezy on top. My name was T Weezy back then when I first started making that shit. T Weezy. T Weezy. Then, uh, shit, once I got out of high school, everybody, you know, my real name is Tyler Bird. So everybody saw her got to call me Bird and all that shit. So I just got to run with that. The one that, like, influenced you, though. You know what I'm saying? Eminem, Wayne. Wayne was the first nigga that had me like, oh yeah, rapping shit cold. Like mm -hmm. that nigga got me on the punchlines, metaphors, all of that. All right, now do you got a, like a favorite musician out of all times? Like, is it just that one person that just stick out like a sore thumb? Lil Wayne and J Cole, like okay. Like Lil Wayne, he influenced me on top when I was younger to get to really get into this shit and be fucking with the lyrics and all that. But shit, once I got older, that nigga got locked up, like, probably, I think. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, not nah, or whatever, so you feel me? Nigga needed somebody else to listen to. <laughs> so I got to fucking with this nigga, uh, J. Cole, and okay. I'm talking about he was just speaking to me, so I got to fuck with him. That's if you had a, a dream venue, what would you host it at? You know what I'm saying? Like, the dream venue. Like if I had a bitch anywhere? The dream venue. If I had a bitch anywhere? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, the garden on top. <laughs> like, off oh, dribble. Oh, dribble, the, the guard, guard, for sure, for sure. Okay. Why you say the garden though? Man, it's because I didn't see him like, not nah, everybody don't get to perform at the garden. Like, you gotta be a, a top ass nigga to be, to even get the chance to perform in there. And like I just said, J. Cole, my favorite rapper, so he had a documentary and his, uh, his whole uh, performance was at the garden. That shit was lit to me because. Like I said, everybody don't get to perform that, so I feel like that's one of the top venues you can get to. And what is a, a studio session with T Bird like? It really depends on what type of uh, what type of song we make and like who else I'm, and who I'm featured with on the song or whatever. Like if we doing a if we doing a song that like hella niggas can be in the room, then you feel me? That's that's that I'll tell you. Feel me? I ain't never got a problem with Brunham being in that bitch, but if we trying to find that right type of track and we doing that vibe, then. Mm -hmm. No, we gotta have you feel me, a couple people in the room and can't be all the noise. Niggas get the niggas get the fucking up and interrupt and shit. Uh, my next question for you is, uh, you got any upcoming features on? You know what I'm saying? Any any tracks you you know what I'm saying you finna put out or? Yeah, upcoming features, see that's that's the whole thing. Like I'm I'm, I'm trying to get the working with niggas. Not like I fuck with motherfuckers. I ain't no petty ass nigga. I ain't no hating ass nigga. I ain't gon' it ain't nobody that I don't fuck with. So. Niggas get a chance to work with anybody, you know I'm on that. Have you performed around Muskegon? And uh, if so, how was that? You know what I'm saying? Like, this your hometown? And, yeah. and how was, you know what I'm saying, just getting the feel for the, the crowd? It's a city and I know everybody in this bitch, so it's like, I don't really be knowing how they gonna be at the show, you feel me? How they, they gonna be turning up, they gonna be like, man, I, I know this nigga up there, I ain't even feel me? How they gonna be up there, but shit. It be lit, be lit every time. Next question, like the fan love from your hometown. How is that? You know what I'm saying? Get back on everything. So you like the fans I got right now. I don't really, I don't really know who my core people is right now. But I'm trying to get back to to realizing that. Like I said, I took that two year break. So when I came back, it's kind of like I, I got to regain everybody that I had fucking mm -hmm. with me. And you know, I got to show them that I'm back on that shit and I'm gonna be consistent with it. But Since we on a local town, you know what I'm saying? From your hometown and stuff. How you feel about? The music going around, like the local rappers. I fuck with niggas. I fuck with niggas. Period. I ain't no, I ain't no hating ass niggas. If you go there, I'm, I'm fucking with you. But if it's just, 
If it, if it ain't what's up, then I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I say I'm. I say I'm. Okay, I'm <laughs> yeah, that's real. Good. That's real. I feel like this year gonna be a good ass year for the uh, for for Muskegon for real. Cause like I'm starting to see niggas doing their thing. Niggas starting to get off into the other cities and all that. So motherfuckers trying to get their name up. So the niggas just keep doing that. And everybody about this bitch. Cause once one nigga make it, then shit, everybody on. Um, well, that's gonna wrap it up for me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everything. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Clearing out your busy schedule and coming to right, chop it up with me, man. Glad niggas come. Glad you know niggas, what I'm saying? You had the time out to fuck with me, man. I appreciate it. I hope, you know what I'm saying, the viewers, you know what I'm saying, start to tune in and lock into your music and stuff. A new YouTube channel that we just made is called MBR Certified. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to that. I'm dropping all the new videos, all my interviews, all shows, all the type of shit going up on there. Follow me on SoundCloud, Instagram, Snapchat, Bird SSO. Like, oh yeah, my new tape, my new tape going too long. That bitch dropping real soon, real soon. Y'all make sure y'all go fuck with that. And if y'all haven't, go back and fuck with my first tape. It's on that piff, RNS, real nigga speaking the mixtape. Make sure y'all man. Still standing, homie. Man, real nigga, what's up? I don't trip and I don't speak outside my category. Won't give my trust and not a soul, cause they won't have it for me. The best hands down, no 